Best in class Yale YK electric wire rope hoists. Now available with vector control that includes overspeed and direction detection, offer increased lifetime of wearable components like motors, wire rope, and brakes. But when you do need to change brake components, like the torque springs, the process is simple. Using a 5 mm socket wrench, release the fan cowling. Two exterior bolts and an interior bolt should be removed. Then loosen the fourth bolt on the bottom. Support the cowling and unscrew the final bolt by hand. With a snap ring pliers, remove the first snap ring. Work the fan back and forth on the shaft to slide off. The snap ring on the back side of the fan rests in a groove. Secure the snap ring with one hand and remove. Next, using either a Phillips head screwdriver or a T25 Torx bit, loosen the screws from the motor junction box and detach the cover. Isolate the brown wire in its terminal and insert the screwdriver. Gently press against the wall of the terminal to release the wire. Repeat with the blue wire. Once the brake wires are free from their terminals, unscrew the seal tight connector and feed the wires through the hole. We recommend that you replace the connector immediately so as not to misplace the part. To release the brake wire from its position, either loosen the two 8mm bolts or the zip ties and feed the wire through. Partially loosen each brake coil bolt with a 5mm T-handle Allen wrench until the brake coil and motor are evenly separated all the way around. Then in succession, completely remove each bolt. Work the dust cover and brake coil off the shaft. Once the coil is removed, slide the brake disc off the shaft. If you need to change the brake hub, you will need to remove the snap ring. The brake hub will then slide off the motor shaft splines. To access the torque springs on the brake coil, first press down with a flathead screwdriver to release pressure on the screws. Keeping the friction plate straight, loosen the screws evenly. For smaller brakes, this can be done manually. Take note of the friction plate orientation and lift the plate up and out. Remove screws and torque springs and set aside. We recommend you replace all torque springs at the same time. Place the new springs in the coil. Replace the friction plate. Align the two holes directly opposite of one another with the screw holes. Replace the two screws. Tighten them evenly until they are each hand tight. If you changed the brake hub, first replace the hub and snap ring on the motor shaft. To begin reassembly, return the brake coil to the hoist motor shaft. Align the bolts with the bolt holes and hand tighten. Use the T-handle wrench to secure, tightening evenly around the coil. With a torque wrench, torque the brake coil bolts to the setting specified in the manual. Slide the dust cover onto the shaft. Thread the brake wires back through the zip ties or bolts to the hoist junction box. The wires should rest against the motor as shown to ensure they will remain accessible when the fan cowling is replaced. Slide the wires through the connector and pull them through. Retighten the connector. Route the brake wires through the motor junction box so they don't rest against anything sharp. Return the blue and brown wires back to the terminals according to the wiring diagrams. Lightly press against the wall of the terminal with a screwdriver and slide the wire in. Tug each wire gently to ensure they are secure. Make sure all wires are tucked in so they do not become pinched as you replace the junction box cover. Tighten the corner screws. Using the snap ring pliers, Replace the snap ring behind the fan blades. Slide onto the shaft until it is resting in the groove. Align the fan with the keyway that is cut into the shaft. Work the fan back and forth on the shaft until you can see the keyway again. 
To secure the fan blade, replace the second snap ring. Make sure it is resting in the groove. Then, slide the fan cowling on the shaft. The barcode decal on the cowling should face out. Align the four bolts and hand tighten. Then, fully tighten with the socket wrench. And with that, you've finished changing the torque springs. For more information on Yale YK hoists, visit cmco.com forward slash Yale.